Hey guys, I'm Michael Allen for TropicalCoastRegionNow.com. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, I got all the most important, the best travel tips all in one video. If you do not know Costa Rica, but you're visiting here, this is the video for you. You don't even have to watch another video, and I've got over 400. So, I put them all here. Now, these travel tips aren't on what to see and what to do in Costa Rica, okay? These are the tips that make your time in Costa Rica the best possible without any kind of, you know, glitches, you know, that can kind of turn a vacation kind of bad or sour for you. You pay attention to these, these tips, you will have a great time in Costa Rica. I promise you that. Now, the only thing I will tell you about where to go and what, you know, that kind of thing is, I'm really not a big fan of San Jose as a city. I don't think you should spend a whole lot of time there, personally. I'm not saying there's not things to see there. I'm not saying there's not things to do there. I'm just saying you don't really want, if you're coming to Costa Rica, San Jose is really not the hangout. The other place I'm not a huge fan of is Jaco. It's the closest beach to San Jose, so a lot of people go there. It's a definite party town. So if you're into the women, you're into the nighttime drinking and all that kind of thing, and you want to do some surfing in the day, maybe Jaco. Personally, a million other places better than those two places in Costa Rica. So that's my only tip that way. So anyway, guys, grab your pens, your pencils, pass the video on to your friends that are coming here. You do not have to do any more homework. I will try to take my time to, an to, to answer all the questions you might have. Best tips, man, right here. Here we go. Number one, drugs. <laughs> uh, pot's easy to get here, man. You want to you smoke here, it's pretty easy. It's not really a big deal if you get caught with pot. They don't really care that much. Not a big thing. Talk to your taxi drivers. Go to your hostels mingle with other people, uh, talk to bartenders. Pot is easy to get. Coke is also easy to get. It's not the best grade Coke there is, and the police frown on Coke a little bit more. So, but again, easy to find. Now, your more designer drugs like ecstasy, acid, shrooms, and that kind of thing, you're gonna have to know somebody. Now, remember, they know you don't have any of this, so you're, you're not gonna get the, <laughs> you're not probably not gonna get the best quality of pot, and you're probably gonna get your Coke cut a million different ways. And um, and along with prostitution, which is legal here, the, the uh, age of consent for gay or a straight is 18, nothing below that. Um, now, in those, bo in, in those two things of drugs and prostitution, everything is at your own risk, man. And you're going to jump into that world, you're at your own risk. I'm not advocating any of these things. I'm just saying they're available here, prostitution is legal. Uh, drugs are e pretty easy to get. That's it. So, at your own risk. Don't blame me. Number two, do not exchange your money at the airport. That is the worst rate of exchange you're going to find. All right? So, you're going to do that somewhere else. Maybe at the bank. Don't do it at the airport. Uh, you don't want to bring any ripped bills here. They do not take ripped bills or messed up bills. Uh, they also do not like 50s and 100s, gringos. <laughs> so, if you, if you bring 20s, 10s, and 5s, you're going to be able to pass those off pretty much anywhere. You're going to get all your, your change in the, you know, Cologne, which is what they use here. So, you're going to get your change. You probably don't even have to go to the bank, really, which is another hassle. So, I would just, you know, use your dollar bills here. Most places are going to take them, no problem. Just remember, no 50s and 100s. They don't really like them. They think they're all counterfeit. Now, the first thing, number three, the first thing you're going to do after you exit the airport or soon after, you are going to take a picture with your phone of your face pic of your passport and that whole first page. You're also going to take a picture of your stamped in, your last page of your passport, which is when you got stamped into Costa Rica. Put those on your phone, email those to yourself. Uh, you don't have to carry your passport here, uh, really. The only time you have to have it is when you go to the bank. Even the police will accept a copy. Uh, don't let them tell you any different. So email it to yourself so in case something happens to your phone or your passport, you have that, uh, you have that documentation. Those pictures makes it way easier to go to the uh, embassy to get a new passport. All right. Number four. By the way, these are in no specific order, as you probably see. Number four, tipping. All right, do not tip in restaurants and bars. They don't do it, lo no locals do that. Uh, also, there's always a 10% service charge added to the bill, so that's kind of the tip. And actually, 
you are not going to run into that you're not going to run into that grade of service here anyway so i wouldn't fret on the whole tipping we also do not tip taxi drivers actually for a number of reasons if anybody's going to try to rip you off it's the taxi drivers but anyway uh, make sure they turn on their uh, it's called moria make sure they turn on their uh, you know their what's it called <laughs> the meter all right make sure they turn that on uh, you do not tip taxi drivers. Don't do it. Don't let them talk you into it or whatever. No, no tipping. Now, the only people you would tip here is maybe on your tours or your guides, that kind of thing. $10 is going to do it, man. You don't got to go crazy with that, all right? Five, ten bucks, fifteen bucks. Great. You're done. Remember, no tipping restaurants and bars. Save you some money. Don't feel bad about it, all right? <laughs> all right, number five, rental car. Now, the best, the best way really to see Costa Rica is... Through a, a rental car it gives you freedom that's the basic but obviously everyone's got their own situation maybe you're traveling a group of 20 you can't do that I'm just saying rental car is your best option now you may not know this about the, the rental car places here they can rip you off because what happens is all of a sudden you have a bunch of hidden fees when you go to pick up your your car um, and all of a sudden you've got two thousand dollars on your charge card and you were expecting to use your charge card around Costa Rica so now, if you, want, if you want a legit travel agency, go to our website, TravelCostaRicaNow.com. Click on the, the car rental that we use. They have new cars, they have good service, and they're transparent in their prices. I'm not saying they're the only people you can use. There's other good agencies here, but it's a crapshoot if you don't know, and it really sucks to go pick up your car with a bunch of hidden fees, man. There's not a whole lot you can do about it. It totally sucks. Uh, also, the Waze, Waze application of getting around GPS thing works very good down here. You want to have change, uh, the Colony change for some of the tolls you're going to have. So you want to keep your change, put it in your car, whatever. Uh, I don't, we don't recommend driving at night. I'm not saying you can't do it. I'm just saying there's a lot of roads you do not want to have an issue on at night. Like, let's say you get a flat tire. If you got a flat tire going around the lake here from, like, Tilleron or or the north, you know the Pacific coming out to La Fortuna, you get a you get a, a flat tire coming around that uh, coming around the lake. It is not good, man. So I, I'm, we're not a big advocate of driving at night. Not saying you can't, just wouldn't do it personally. Um, yeah, and you well you might want to check our video if you're going to do the rental car. You might want to uh, check out our video about the road signs here. They are different, and it might be a quick video. You might want to watch to get yourself uh, acclimated to some of the signs you might see here if you're going to uh, be driving your own car. Okay, number six. Don't, okay, this is the biggest one. Don't do shit alone. Don't do things by yourself. You know, nothing. You know, when anything bad happens here, anything, kidnappings, murder, whatever you want to talk about, it's always because somebody's traveling alone. You know, easy target. Now, I'm not saying, I'm not... 999 times out of a thousand it's not a problem but when it is a problem it's always people traveling alone all right so if you're going to go out at night in san jose or any place to clubs taxi to taxi to taxi to taxi no walking around no walking outside and going oh it's the clubs just down there take a taxi all right uh and they do have right now uber so if you have an uber app it is going to be cheaper uh to travel around actually so uber's not everywhere and they've been having a lot of issues you know fighting against the taxi drivers for power i don't know but uber's here right now and uh, especially around san jose it's really good so don't do anything alone man try to get a, try to get uh try to get somebody to go with you you know that travel around in packs whatever you got to do but if you're really don't go to a huge national park here that's you know vast by yourself and wander around it's just it's just not good practice man okay uh, oh, <laughs> I don't know why I put this in here. If you ever want to piss off a taxi driver, you're mad about whatever, slam their door. The locals hate slamming of the doors, especially taxi drivers. Okay, number seven. This is the biggest issue here, and it does happen. Okay, and that's one of theft, usually petty theft. You being involved in a strong arm uh, robbery is almost non-existent here, again, unless you're alone. But, so, but theft in all kinds of ways is kind of your biggest issue. Theft here is, is of opportunity, okay? So 
your rental car. Don't leave anything in your rental car and that includes your trunk overnight. So when you're at your hotel, take the stuff out of your trunk. Uh, number two is buses. Uh, you wouldn't think that they'll take things off the bus, but they will. You fall asleep and your stuff's up on a rack, you better watch it. We even had a friend that used to do use, use one of those uh, ties and put it on there and then cut it off at the end. But you want to watch your luggage on buses. It's huge. Uh, if you get ripped off at a hotel, usually it is the employees, all right? It just is. I don't know why. Use the safe. And, it, and you know what? Pack light. You don't need much down here, man. Pack light. Leave the jewelry at home. You're not impressing anybody, and you definitely don't need it here. Um, if you're going to pick up someone at the bar, whether you're straight or gay, or you're doing any of that kind of thing, um, you, and, and you drink, you, met, you need to hide your stuff from your hotel room, man. They will take anything. They'll ask you to use the bathroom, and they'll take your tweezers and your razor. If they see your phone laying around, they're going to take it. If you invite somebody in your hotel room that you don't know, or it's kind of a sketchy thing or a sex thing, they're going to take something. Hide your stuff, all right? And be careful of that whole drunken thing. That's why you want a wingman, man, when you go out. All right, wingman. Um, the police don't do nothing here, man. So you call on them unless you really got some great hard evidence or somebody on camera. The fact you're, you're dead, probably not going to get your stuff back. The only time you would, you know, do the police thing if you need to kind of do your, uh, make a claim for your own insurance purposes and you need, you know, a record, you know, a report. All right, number eight, when you're doing your tours here, do not buy directly from the tour agency, all right? Like if you want to do rafting, don't go into the rafting place and purchase your tour there. You want to buy tours from those little stores and those little huts and stuff that sell tours. They work on commission, so they sell cheaper. If you actually go to the place, the rafting company, it's going to be more. I know that doesn't make sense. Just trust me on this. Uh, you can compare, obviously, those little places. You know, like in Opportuna, we got a million people that sell tours. So you can compare shop that way. But what you don't want to do is actually go to the tour company itself to purchase one of their tours. You're going to be paying the most there. All right, number nine. You know what? Everyone complains it's expensive here because you're doing touristy things. Find the little mom and pop places, man. Find the little mom and pop hotels. Uh, we have what they're called. They're little restaurants called sodas here. They look like little, uh, they get like five tables around. You know, the family's cooking for you. Uh, you're getting a casado, which is a little meat and beans and uh, a salad and rice dish, you know, and they're making it back there. Don't go to where you see all the tourists. Go around like the outskirts of town somewhere. Find a cool little place that's family owned and it's going to be cheaper for you, man. All right. Don't when you see a bunch of tourists there, you probably don't want to go there unless it's a, a you know, a drinking thing. Uh, OK, now I'm going to I'm going to run off. Of, oh, here we go. All right. This is the flash round. This is number 10. All right, ready? Bunch of stuff here. Ten, riptide, man. We have riptides here. If you know anything about riptides, you're on the beach. Swim parallel to the beach to get out of a riptide. Do not swim directly into the beach, all right? Parallel, parallel. Save your life. People get killed every year from riptides here. All right, number two. Uh, their big phrase here is called pura vida, which means pure life. If you don't know any other Spanish ever in your life, Puerta Vida means everything. Hello, goodbye, thank you, excuse me. Somebody can blah, blah, blah in Spanish for five minutes. After they get done, just say Puerta Vida. And they, they, they think you understand. You don't know, have to know any other Spanish. That's it, Puerta Vida. I can't say it very well. I never say it myself. But, uh, okay, gringos are not your friends or necessarily your friends here. Just because somebody speaks your language don't belly up to the bar with them and think that they're there for you. They're going to tell you their little story. They're going to, you know, just just trust me on this. Gringos are not necessarily your friends here. I'd watch them. Keep on the lookout. Uh, name brand items in the store. If you're, if you're stuck on Doritos, you're going to pay a lot for Doritos. You want peanut butter, you're going to pay a lot for peanut butter. So things like Doritos, there's a, there's a, there's a Spanish alternative that you're going to pay a lot less for. So if you see a name brand in a store, don't buy it. It's going to be way expensive because of import fees, all right? 
Toilet paper, man. I always you could have a roll of toilet paper. That's just a that's just a given. Do I have to tell you the reasons for that? Toilet paper. All right. Do you know if you get a headache here, a cold, or an allergy, you can go to the grocery store in the area you are and just get one pill, two pills, three pills. You don't have to buy bottles of nothing here. You can get one Band-Aid. You can get one of this, one of this. Uh, know that. So go to the grocery store. Go up to the cashier. I got a headache. I need aspirina. And they give you one or two, whatever you want. You don't have to buy a whole bottle of nothing. Uh, now, pharmacy is kind of the same thing. If you have, like, you need a flu shot or you've got little ailments or you're breaking out in bumps, go to the pharmacy first, man. Don't go to the clinic. See if the pharmacy can't take care of you first. It's going to be faster and definitely cheaper. All right. Water. I drink the water here. You can drink the water for, I think, I drink the water all over Costa Rica. But if you think it's an issue and why should you mess up your vacation, bottled water is not that expensive. Drink bottled water. It's not a big deal. All right, so just do the bottled water. Now, uh, 10, 10 degrees from the equator. Sunblock, man, sunblock. The sun can ruin your vacation. <laughs> All right. Girls, women, the rafting guy does not love you, <laughs> okay? Take it for what it is. Have fun for the night. That's not your future husband, all right? And you old gay guy... That cute guy that's uh, dancing with you up at the, you know, the gay club. He's not into you, man. He's looking for one thing. All right? Eat a pineapple here, man. They're better. Anyway, guys, I'm Michael Allen, TravelCoastRegionNow.com. Peace, guys. It will help.